Hey there, folks. Welcome to another Railroads Online video. Today, we're going to take a look at something new to the game uh, as part of beta update 0.5.8, which will soon, I'm sure, come to the uh, the standard release of the game in itself. But we got some new rolling stock. First and foremost, there's quite a bit of it here. Uh, and they've also gone over a few fixes as far as performance, uh, some of the spline track fixes, things like that. Uh, a myriad of different things you can uh, check this out i'll link it down below if you want to go and check it out but uh, let's go ahead and hop in and take a look at that stock all righty so as part of this update one of the first things i noticed was a bunch of my blessed rolling stock just strewn all about my yard and railroad facility and uh that's that was apparently part of the issue that they fixed uh i don't know what happened it's something to do with the splines i guess and and certain rolling stock so i load it in after this update and uh bam but it's fairly easy to do you just re-rail it i've already re-railed uh it only happened to a couple of things it's not going to happen to everything may not even happen to you at all but i've also got some uh some stuff up here that uh derailed as well i think the uh what is it the the tweetsy tender up here let's see and we'll get over and check that rolling stock out Yes, it did. Yeah, I, I passed by the freight house over here and saw this tender sitting like that sideways. And that that threw me for a loop. They also fixed some of the sounds as well. Some of the other locomotives weren't, uh, you know, giving off any kind of steam hiss or chuff sounds or, you know, and stuff like that. So they fixed that as well. But here we go. This is the rolling stock, guys. So this is all... I just tried to lay out every single piece here. This is all the rolling stock that you're going to get with this beta update. Uh, it's quite a bit. 90% of it is from the Greg Company, which was a name synonymous with Hawaiian sugarcane plantations and more, you know, supplying thousands of, of rail cars and trackage. Uh, I forget what they called the track, but they used to move the track around throughout all these fields you know with the sugarcane fields the pineapple fields they just pop it up put it back down snap track or something like that they called it but they supplied all that a bunch of rail cars uh and they were based out of new york and new jersey uh in the late 1800s and then later moved to belgium world war ii came around they were seized by the germans uh at the outset of world war ii and then later on it was given back to someone and they controlled it in a, a private entity not as part of the Greg company anymore, but it's a, it's an interesting little company that made these cars. But uh, Hawaii's first railroad was credited to the Kauai opening in 1881 as a few miles of narrow gauge naturally uh, at Kilauea Plantation hauling sugar cane. And uh, that's a lot of what this rolling stock is about here. Does it make much sense in railroads online presently? No, uh, it's kind of weird. I mean, it's cool. It's some nice looking stuff. Tweetsy engine, if you if you don't mind, if you could just shut up over here, sir. Who is it? It's not Tweetsy. It's Devil. All right, whatever. Anyway, so you got to get a lot of this rolling stock. It was plantation rolling stock. But it does look very nice. You're going to get quite a bit. We'll go ahead and pop the menu open here. Show you what you're going to get. So it says here, Greg Sugarcane Flat. Uh, Greg Company Flat 1905. Three foot narrow gauge. 2200 pound type. And see, so far, this is kind of why it doesn't make sense to me. You know, this, this plantation stock, you know. Fruits, vegetations, things like that. Products. Um, right now, it just carries crate tools as you can see there on the, the right hand side so I'm you know I'm not totally sure what the deal with this stock is I mean it's neat you know I guess it's cool to have um, then you've got your logging flat so same thing as a flat car except it's got the little the little uh, fork deals here to keep the logs in there obviously freight type log steel pipe so that's what can go on there now You've got the sugarcane stake flat, which has got the stakes, obviously. This can haul rail raw iron beam and lumber. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Uh, this is a bulkhead flat, cord wood. So, you know, it's not really... It, they, they, they just kind of put stuff that's already on the map, industries, obviously, of what can be used on these things, but it's, it doesn't really make sense. Like, is, is, is something coming that we don't know about yet? 
they've kind of alluded to this in their article. But this just doesn't, you know, there's so much other stock you could do, right? That would kind of fit this area, the time period, and narrow gauge and all that. And it not be this. So something's, something's got to be up. So that can carry cordwood. Next up, you're going to have three variations of the gondolas. Uh, this is a low side. You can carry iron ore, coal, oil barrels. Not very much of it either, obviously. This is the medium. So it's just got two planks instead of like the single plank, as you can see there, basically. Same deal, iron ore, coal, oil barrel. This is the high side. Um, same deal, iron ore, coal, oil barrel. Next up, we got the new, I'm probably going to jack this up big time, Wai Laua, agriculture tank car. Uh, crude oil. Albeit, not very much. And then the EWA Plantation boxcar can carry uh, tools and or oil barrels as well. And I think that's it. That is it. So we'll go ahead and just pop over here and take a look. Another thing is, so this is Pineapple. I specifically bought her to haul these cars around. There's not much, you know, in lieu of locomotives right now within the game that can run this stuff either. I mean... It's kind of all over the place. This updates this updates a bit bit weird. It's giving me more questions than anything. Uh, one of the porters definitely they they use the uh, larger porters, not so much these little fellows right here. Um, that's that's like the most appropriate that I can think of. So, I mean, but you can use whatever the hell you want, obviously. But if you want to get prototypical, I don't know. It's kind of funky, but. Here's the, uh, this is the lumber flat. I didn't put the regular flat car down because it's the same as this, just without little spikes here. But there are some nice, uh, some nice new things, some niceties. New, uh, hand, handbrake, which looks nice. Let's see. The, uh, the couplers are different as well. I'm pretty sure those couplers are new and specific to the Greg Company cars. This is the uh, stake flat here. All right, dude. What is, what is, how's that thing? I haven't, I haven't thrown coal or wood in either one of those locomotives in like a month. So, yeah. All right, this is the, uh, the bulkhead stake, same deal. Notice something else, these kind of square bolts as well. I don't remember those being in some of the other rolling stock. Those look new as well. They may totally not be at all. These are all the gondolers. Uh, this is the ham and pineapple pizza. Um, big one, chunky boy. This, These two are just the same, the, uh, the medium size. This is the low uh, gondola here. Here we have the little tank, which is complete with the little animation as well. It's pretty neat. And we got the box cars, and they do open. Naturally, very small box car. Muy, muy pequeño. And you can see right through. They seem to be okay as far as, like, if you need to get up here and turn the handbrake. Uh, I know there was an issue with that for a while. Make sure I keep those locked. But you're going to get quite a bit. Something I didn't look at here is which we'll go back and take a look at right quick. Like we'll go to the box car. Which is uh, EWA. It's actually Awa, And it's uh, it was a, a town. Um, it's, it was based upon the town name. So that's what that's all about. Let's get over here in the sunlight. So there's actually a lot of colors for these. And they're nice colors. They're... They're different. They're more like tropical looking pastel, if you will. But that in itself is kind of the issue because it blends in with the scenery. Um, and they're just they're just a bit. I don't like there's no depth to it. I don't, like the darker colors, I feel like look better in railroads online for stuff. But uh, anyway, this is the first paint. Second paint, standard reddish. It looks pretty good there. Uh, it's like a cream <laughs> I don't know what to call that S scratchy brown 
uh, cream. That's nah, more like a beige, gray. Green. Now, I do like these. These are cool. These seem like they'd fit in really well with the uh, the islands of Hawaii. Again, but we don't have Hawaii Railroads Online, so I'm not totally sure what's going on. But, uh, yeah, that looks nice. I like the green and how scratched up it is. We have, like, a lighter green, just more sun-baked. And actually, each um, thing has slightly different colors. Like, there's some blues, if I'm not mistaken. I swear there's, like, a blue. Blue. I swear to God, there's a blue. I have them laid out over there. Maybe it's a sunlight. It's, like, throwing me off here. Yeah, see, that's... Okay, that looks weird. That's the blue there. That's It looks gray. In, in direct sunlight, but it's actually a blue. But yeah, that's um, that's it. It's a new rolling stock. It uh, they're definitely unique. Um, you know, period and region specific. Uh, let's go hop on a train and uh, see how they. All right, so we are on the back of a train with some various uh consist of this new rolling stock i kind of just threw it at about 40 percent on the regulator and uh we're about to start climbing a really stupid ridiculous walt disney world style uh railroad thing over here well actually no i take that back i meant like an amusement park ride because disney world railroads actually kind of cool so uh, we'll see if we can actually get up this. Now they are empty. I don't have anything in here. And we're already slowing way, way, way down. Let's go ahead and get that. Yep, yep. I'm going to roll backwards. This is a 2.4.0. Slightly underpowered. <laughs> By slightly, I mean quite a bit. Come on, you sub bitch. I don't, I don't think... I don't think I can do it. Oh, yeah. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Still got a little bit of pressure, though. Oh, I think I left a brake on, too. Yeah, I'm real good at this, if you can't uh, tell. I am a excellent Railroads Online player. Really, really good at it sarcasm by the way just for those out there that yeah all right so no that's actually not on i thought i left a handbrake on let's check this one i i'm kind of hoping i did because wow at the lack of power so anyway i mean they seem um you know they seem pretty legit they have nice sounds uh i hauled ass to get down here um to start going up this grade here uh, at quite a high rate of speed uh, in reverse no less and they went down the track just fine they didn't bounce off or they weren't shaking all around I do have it set on medium physics as well uh, or medium physics medium simulation whatever it's called the menu I forget uh, so yeah I mean they seem all right but again it's kind of odd like what what are their purpose I mean yes uh, <laughs> you could use them for a lot of current industry, um, but it just doesn't make too, too much sense. But then again, we have a lot of stuff in Railroads Online now that kind of doesn't really make sense. You know, I don't know. I would love, absolutely love to see a new map. Possibly even something with pre-laid track that you could, like, build off the track. You know, because playing solo, like, I, you know, I generally only have time to do a lot of railroads online. It's tough trying to get a railroad going. Uh, you know, hence my ridiculous bridge <laughs> along the mountainside that you can see here. So, this is what happens when you play solo and you need to build, you know, A to B and you don't have a ton of time. It very much do be like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. They kind of alluded to, like, a little secret as to what may be coming let's go back to that article real quick and take a peek at that and see what we can glean knowledge wise uh out of said information
All right, so let's put our tinfoil hats on here for a minute. This is the article for update 0.5.8. It says, Dear Community, today we're shipping an update to the beta branch, which blah, 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 performance and crash issues, blah, blah, breaks, blah, blah, old splines, blah, blah. Say bye-bye to the past. I think that's kind of a clue there as well. A little surprise is also included in today's beta update. New rolling stock introduced some fresh cars manufactured by the Greg company. And here we go. Here we go. Right here, guys. Oh, and some of them might have a new secret use soon. I know not what that means. If you do, let her rip in the comments. Let us know. Me and others that may be present within the video. Um, you know... I, I got a little excited, a little ahead of myself, thinking maybe a new map. I don't I don't think that's it. I, like, I, I feel like I've heard somebody say that they don't plan on looking at any other new maps for a long time until they kind of get the core game where they want it, and then possibly. So I'm thinking, I don't know. Can they just add a new industry to the map? Wouldn't that just kind of mess up the entire, you know, the, the bones of the game itself, the you know, the foundation, the way it's the way the game world is built. I don't know. What are they gonna do there? But uh obviously something's going on. That's pretty much it. Uh that was the little kind of secret message. I'll link this obviously down below if you want to go and check it out. And to get all the stuff if you don't uh, if you're not already on the beta, is you just simply uh you know get into the beta on Steam. It's fairly simple. And uh you can get these new fresh updates but that's it guys just a, uh, a quick look at some of the new stuff for railroads online i'll see you next time bye